It has been a long time coming, but today I'm doing a ranking video about an animated series. O W O W O R G M A N L. But it has a web series no one has ever heard of, except the creator's entire subscriber base and Cherry Bomb the Band Kid. Who knows? If you haven't heard of this series, which is most of you who aren't subscribed to Isaac Cartoons, the series follows the characters, Mori, the one who is depressed and sad, and Richard, the one who is off Mori, and the 50 Bucks God. Now that you know who the characters are and what the show is, let us get started. Wait, one more thing before we get started. Meet Lucario Maniac, otherwise known as Dade Harmon. He's the person who will be in this video giving his thoughts too on some episodes. Now let's get started. In this episode, Richard acts like a two-year-old and throws a tantrum because he wouldn't get his 50 bucks from Mori. We also casually hear Solitaire Joker say the n-word, so that's a plus. <coughs> hey, nigga. Overall, there isn't that much to talk about the episode. That's just it. Richard throws a tantrum and gets his 50 bucks. It's an okay episode. Let's see what episode 2 has to offer. So, is it that guy over there? Yeah, shoot him. Mori tries to ask a woman for her phone number, but ends up getting a full-on no. She then punches Mori and tells him to get a life. But when all hope is lost for the woman, Rizard, Rizington, tells her if she wants to do some bedtime fucking. She then says yes, and the mission is successfully completed. So that's the episode. Overall, it's pretty funny. Richard shoots 12 celebrities to the stars. It's an okay episode, nothing special. You shot 12 celebrities? Richard, what the hell were you thinking? How Richard offers 50 bucks to this new character called Spencer for 50 bucks. Yes, I know. It's ridiculous buying money with money, but it is Richard we're talking about. What do you expect? He gets arrested for money laundering, which is to tell him his racial profiling. And for some reason, Spencer makes this goofy face. Overall, pretty good. Mori mishears Richard and decides to grab a news from I don't know where because he expected good news. It's an okay episode. So Richard sells illegal stuff as a job and Mori is not happy about it. What school you go to? Saying that he'll get your shit fucked up for this. But then Richard shows Mori how great it is to sell the stuff off screen. Even though he thinks it's great and all, he is not a criminal and doesn't like doing illegal stuff. But Richard convinces him to keep doing this stuff. I'd rank it as pretty good. Richard wants 50 bucks from Mori to spend it on some cigarettes, wine, McDonald's. Roller coasters. But Maury says no, like a reasonable person would. But since he can't get 50 bucks, Richard brings Maury to a construction site because one of the signs says $500 fine. Thinking he'll earn $500 for trespassing, they fall down in this bottomless pit for the rest of the episode. They fall down and Maury starts wondering where they're going to end up while Richard is being racist to the Asian community. When Maury calls Richard out, Richard brings up his diarrhea joke that Maury said a while back that made Richard look like that one muscle man in the shower scene. But anyways, Richard Richard and Mori make it all the way to China and now can't can't go home. This episode just took place in a pit with a bit of conversation. Overall, it's decent. 